Hey guys, I'm back at it once again with the Dell Inspiron 1525. I'm going to try and open it up. But um, today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be replacing the optical drive in this. This has been an optical drive for Inspiron 1525. As you see on this one, the optical drive actually still works, but this one's just busted off. But to fix that, we're going to go ahead and replace it. And to replace it is, there's this screw right here that simply comes right on out. Let me go ahead and unscrew it so you get the whole point. Once you remove that screw out of the way, you can go ahead and pull it on out of here since it's missing the drive door of some sort. Out with the old. In with the new, you just want to make sure it lines up properly. And the drive we're putting in is a CD DVD rewrite old drive. And you want to go ahead and test the drive once you reinstall it. Yeah, this is hard doing it with one hand. because insulation is the reverse of removal and we're going to go ahead and test the laptop out to see if the drive actually works is change out these two 512 RAM modules and I believe you can get underneath lift this up underneath somehow to get the CMOS battery and to get these RAM modules out we're going to go ahead and gently pry back and just lift right on out set that over to the side And here's another reason why you should upgrade the memory in a Dell Inspiron 1525. Let's say if you want to run Windows 7, for instance. You're going to need a lot more, more than 2 gigabytes of RAM for 64-bit. Um, you want to make sure the memory seated in there properly before turning it on. And the installation is the reverse of removal. And this is also an easy way to get access to your CPU. If you want to replace that, pen, that Intel Celeron CPU or if you have like a Pentium CPU or a Core 2 Duo. So I'm going to go ahead and put, the new, put in a new, I got a new battery for it. And so I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. So then the next clip will be testing out the new memory. Alright, I'm back at it again. I um, checked in the BIOS to make sure it verified the uh, memory install. Because as you see, it picks up 1.99 gigabytes, but it did pick up the 2 gigabytes. 
that I installed in here. And as you see, I got a win another window open because it's showing a, diff a name that I don't want to put out to the public or invade the um, previous owner's privacy. So I'm going to go ahead and close up out of there. So I'm going to go ahead into the BIOS to show you that it actually did pick up the 2 gigabytes. I just got to find which key is to get into the BIOS once we get back at the BIOS screen on this thing. I see it actually picked up the um, two gigabytes of memory. So this upgrade is a success. So the next upgrade will be the hard drive upgrade. So stay tuned for more and I'll keep you guys posted.